What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to tension or tighten up the tracks or check the track tension on your dozer or excavator, specifically a dresser dozer. And this is gonna be the same for all the different dresser dozers or Komatsu or International Harvest dozers. And this is the same thing for a lot of other uh, makes, models, and years. Heavy equipment that has tracks to tighten up or tension the tracks on excavator, dozer. Um, the skid steers are really similar to, uh, to a lesser extent though. So anyway, what you're gonna wanna do, you're going to want to put a block in front of the track like that right there if you can see that then you're going to want to drive forward what that's going to do is take the slack out of the bottom of the track after you've got that slack out then and you're going to want to jump right here between this roller and that roller you're going to want to jump you might need several um people especially on a machine that's uh that's this large um you know on the td8 um dressers you know those are a little easier because the tracks aren't quite as heavy on this one they're pretty heavy so you may need a couple people to jump on it or whatever you can do to get that slack and try and put all that slack right here so it'll get some slack back there you want to jump on it to get the rest of that slack out of the top then you're gonna open up this little cover right there. A lot of them have a bolt. Mine has already got the bolt taken out. Then, after you open that up, you'll see a grease zit right there. That is how you're going to actually tighten the tracks. Because there's a large piston, and that piston, the more grease you put in it, it pushes out, thus tightening the tracks. The next thing we're gonna wanna do, a straight edge or a long board, anything that's straight. You set it across the tracks. Alrighty, so now that we got all that slack removed, there's still a little bit of slack right here. I don't have anybody to help me today, but what I did to try and get some of it out and my, I just broke my collarbone, so I really can't push up on it too much, but put a board down there and then kind of pried up on it. Because on mine, at least, there's, you see that slack right there? I'd like to get that out. But we're right at about two and a half inches. So this machine actually wasn't as bad as what I thought. And what you'll do to do that is take a straight edge, put it right there to right there, or you can use a board. My straight edge that I brought wasn't quite long enough, so I'm using a board. And then this to that should measure between two and two and a half inches. You do not want to over tighten these tracks or that can do a lot of damage. So we're just going to tighten it up just a little bit. Um, but you may have to tighten yours up more, but you definitely do not want that. You want that gap to be at least two inches for sure, or it'll mess up all your idler wheels and your bearings because um, it's not good. But if you have not enough tension, then what happens if your tracks are too loose is you'll start losing power and uh, performance and the machine won't perform as good. So it's very important to, uh, you know, to keep your tracks within spec. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a grease gun and then there's a little cover right there that pops up as you can see I just lifted it up and you'll just shoot some grease into that grease zit and then once you get that grease in the grease zit it pushes out there's a piston between there and it pushes that out to tighten up the tracks so we're not gonna have to use very much grease a little bit of grease goes a long ways especially um, with uh, one of these uh, electric uh, or battery powered grease guns it's 
So, sorry I knocked off the camera. Now, that... Two to two and a half inches. Do not over tighten it or that's bad on all your bearings, um, all of your rollers, everything. It can really do a lot of damage. And if you have it too tight, it's not going to have the best performance. If it's too loose, it's not going to have the best performance. So it's a fine line. Very important. Two to two and a half inches. So let's say maybe, hell, your tracks are too tight because somebody didn't, you know, measure it the right way and they were just adding some grease and kind of eyeballing it. Which you can do if you're really good and got a lot of experience, but I don't like doing it that way because I just want to make sure it's right. These machines are really expensive. This is an old one, and hell, it's still expensive. So anyway, if you, there's too much grease in there for some reason, you see your grease fitting right there. Then there's a, a big nut, so the grease fitting actually screws in to like a nut deal. You'll loosen that and then it'll shoot grease right out of that hole and it comes out fast. So loosen it, you know, don't um, just over loosen it basically. You just want to, you know, loosen it really slowly. And on this side, you can see better. This side, I haven't used this uh, dozer and someone actually had the tracks too tight on it because it hasn't been used in years. So I was just going through it, servicing it. And um, I don't know who did it, but this nut right here. So you got the grease sit, and then there's another bigger um, nut, and that size should be, it's gonna be a three-fourths, three-fourths. So you'll want socket, ratchet, you'll loosen it. As soon as it loosens up a little bit, then it'll shoot grease right out of there. Like come out in like a line, almost like Play-Doh. So then, after you do that, then you'll be good. We'll still want to take the slack out here, do all that. But keep in mind that they tend to get a little bit tighter as they heat up or as you drive it a little bit. So it's kind of like a motorcycle chain. Um, you, you think you got it perfect, but you almost want to leave it a little on the loose side. So I would say what's about perfect, what's between two inches and two and a half inches, two and a fourth inches. That's right where you want it out i would say two and a fourth inches so i hope this video helped you guys um if you didn't know how to tension up the tracks on uh, on heavy equipment and they're all basically the same i can tell you that they all have a you know a piston shoot grease in there moves the the front idler wheel then that tightens up the tracks um pretty simple but uh, a really important thing to check and do because uh, it just makes your machine a lot less efficient if the tracks are not tightened and tensioned properly. It's not going to perform as well. It's going to bounce you around. It's going to make the machine a lot rougher if they're loose, if they're too tight. Um, that's not good either. That's going to kill your power. It's going to wear out all of the bearings and all the idler wheels and a whole bunch of really expensive stuff that you're not going to want to replace. So spend the time and check and tension your tracks and make sure they're at the right tension. Please let me know if this video helped you. Let me know if it didn't. Um, always love your feedback positive or negative please subscribe 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 and please give this video a big like you know you want to you know this was uh some good info and until next time guys check out some of the other videos on my channel did i already say subscribe yeah like 10 times but peace thanks for watching